Welcome back, everybody. It is uh, about 11 o'clock here in the evening of October uh, the 20th, 2021. Just wanted to uh, make a new video for you. Um, it's been a while, I guess, since I got back to my roots. <laughs> I started this channel as a, uh, a Saitama price prediction uh, channel, actually, or, you know, uh, to help people, I guess, to educate people on Saitama, you could say. And so uh, I thought that with everything that's been going on with Saitama here the last several weeks, I would make a video. Because um, I know that a lot of people are looking at Saitama right now and everything. So if you're uh, joining me for the first time, I am Vlad. And uh, this is the Saga of the Rick and Morty ERC20 token kind of a journalism channel and I am dedicated to ending all rugs in crypto um, long story short I was an investor in um, Rick and Morty and I got asked to be part of the admin team and long story short um, it was a scam and so now I've been uh, basically dedicating myself to finding new scams and alerting people so that uh, they don't lose their money anymore so let's hop right in um, over here at Saitama on coin market cap as you can see up for the day doing fantastic on the price it's just been really good the last um, you know quite a, quite a while the, mar the market cap is just unbelievable you know on September 8th this was um, 243 million dollars like 243 million not billion where it's at now, $243 million on September the 8th. So, <clears throat> yeah, in a little over a month, like $3 billion have been added to this market cap. Um, we'll get into that here in just a minute as to why I believe um, you've seen such a rise in your Saitama wallets here lately, if you, uh, if you do own Saitama like I do. Um, and if you haven't got to Saitama yet, you really should consider it because there's going to be something coming up next month um, here in just a, about uh, three weeks, a little over three weeks or so. Um, and if you don't get in before then, it's probably going to be bad. <laughs> You're going to be wishing you had. Um, Saitama is doing great on the day, uh, seven day charts, as you can see. It's doing fantastic. Um, the month. The three month for the load. Um, I believe this would have been the spike caused by the listing at Coin Market Cap, or something like that. I can't remember. <clears throat> it's been a little while, but um, whenever they dropped the name from Saitama Inu to Saitama, there was a giant spike in the price, and some people actually sold off. I'm told. It was crazy because there for a moment, people were holding some serious coin. Um, but yeah, I, I think the, the, the price of Saitama right now, <clears throat> as you can see, it's doing fantastic. It has been doing fantastic all year long. And um, since, you know, since June, basically, it's up like 82,000% or something like that. The one thing I have an issue with right now is if I click on SaitamaInu.com, it loads this and it's been doing this for like I don't know close to a week for me and I live here in the United States I'm using Starlink internet I don't have any issues loading any other web pages but Saitama token which I used to load all the time doesn't work for me now please guys fix it I don't know what the issue is it doesn't look good for you though I can't load your website right now I'm not saying you're a scam or anything I just bought more yesterday but Right now, your website's down, and that's not good for people looking to like go check out your project. Right? Like, I can't even can't even tell people to go check your website out because it doesn't work. <clears throat> so, Jake, um, if you watched the video I made earlier today, just talking about basically collaboration. You know, I'm hoping that one of these days I can um, collaborate with Jake and, and the rest of the Saitama team along with several other individuals who have really good motives behind their channels and they want to educate people, they want to help people, that's why I'm here. I want to help people, I want to educate people. And I think that if we just come together, we can really make a difference. Um, 
as I've talked about in some of my previous videos, a CryptoCon, you know, where we have like a, a big event and bring everyone together, have a big old party, meet everyone, and educate people how to stay safe in this space because it's really dangerous where we're at right now. If you go back and watch any of the videos that I've made in the last week, I mean, here's nine hours ago, 23 hours ago, one day ago, two days ago, four days ago, five days ago. So it hasn't even been a week. There's four projects. <clears throat> Knuckles, Beavis and Butthead, and Tails are for sure the same people. All three of those scams are the same people. The Nightmare Before Christmas, not sure. If you look at the Nightmare Before Christmas's wallet, it has the same tokens of Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty Doxed, and I believe Rick and Morty V2 or something. I can't, there was like two or three different Rick and Morty tokens in that same wallet in one of the uh, transactions that I pulled up from the Nightmare Before Christmas. But it, it's really fishy. Like basically every one of those projects whenever you go on to the dex tools and you look at transactions from like the cells of eth whenever they're selling off and dropping the price down every one of those transactions pretty much if you look for the right ones where there's zero buys and multiple sells when you open that up in ether scan it'll show you a wallet that has a bunch of fraudulent projects in there already there's a lot of different tokens that are a scam in there so, I mean, kind of proof, if you ask me, that these are all scams. And definitely, this, the, the Tails and the uh, Knuckles and Beavis and Butthead, like when Tails first loaded, if you go back in here and watch <clears throat> my first video, in fact, if we load it up real quick, I can show you. <clears throat> Whenever I did a, a video over Tails on the first day that I noticed it, it loaded at the top of the web page the logo as beavis and i thought that was really strange and then lo and behold all of a sudden beavis token emerges you know the beavis and butthead token emerges but let's take a look here let me turn the volume down and let me hit play and we'll s you can see it right here like it's right there on the screen <clears throat> Up here at the top, you're not going to see because it's stupid. But let me, you know, I'll, I'll get rid of this. I'll go back and look right next to the Twitter. You'll see it says Tails token, but it shows Beavis. Um, essentially, let's see if this goes away. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, right at the top of the screen, it's got Tails on the coin gecko, then Tails Twitter, and then right next to it, it says Tails token, but it shows Beavis. Do you see that? I saw this, I mean, it was in my, it's in my video, so obviously I wasn't just the only person who saw it, it's in the video, but uh, yeah, it's these same people doing the scam, and I, I don't understand why people haven't caught on yet, because the websites are identical. Um, when you looked at those web pages, especially, they're all just copied and pasted from one another with different you know themes like one's beavis and butthead one's tails one's knuckles but they're all the same template exact template let's look here uh let's i want to go actually back to the tails or the knuckles that's the most recent one so i think i've got a link to all three websites possibly here let's look um because this will show you what I'm talking about. Here's the Beavis and Butthead website. Here's the Knuckles website. And here is the Tails website. So, Beavis and Butthead. What they did was they were making Beavis and Butthead and Tails token simultaneously. They copied and pasted one from the other. And when they launched Tails, they forgot to fix the logo. And I have it on video before they fixed it. So, but yeah, if you look, this is Beavis. All right. Here's Knuckles. Looking eerily familiar. And here's Tails. This is the first one I saw. This is what started it. 
for me on, on this this latest ring of them this week anyway. Looks eerily familiar, doesn't it? It's because it's the same thing. It's just copied and pasted. Literally. Copied and pasted. Templates. It's just a template for websites. It, it, you could do that in less than an hour. If you were good at this and proficient, you could do that in an hour. Because it took me six hours to design a website after I bought it, and I've never done it before. So if you like knew what you were doing, you could easily do that in like an hour. So, um, like I said, Jake and all the other folks at Saitama, I'm hoping that someday we'll get together, we'll collaborate, we'll put an end to this crap once and for all. Um, it, it, it's, if we don't do it, they're going to do it. You know, in the United States, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, they will shut down crypto trading. They've already been talking about it for quite some time now. So, for all those projects that aren't, that they don't meet that qualification or whatever, shut it down. If your project doesn't fall into that category, bye bye. At least that's the way that I understand what they've been saying, what they've been talking about doing. That's just the talks. Who's, who knows? It could be worse, considering nothing is set in stone, so to speak. Um, but yeah, guys, if you if you don't follow Jake, he's got a great Twitter. He's got a great uh, YouTube. Come over here to his Twitter page. You know, um, you know. Let's see. You're invited to join the number one cryptocurrency community on Patreon. Sign up. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, looks cool. I will like it and retweet it. And that's all you have to do to support these guys. Get the word out on their projects. Any good news that you see? Satama Diva. She's always got something fun. Um, hit like, retweet. Okay. So Tama official. Same thing. Um, this one's August 1st. That's old. Bro. It's October. Why don't you pin something new? Um, but yeah, guys, come over to Twitter, check these guys out, and uh, you'll find lots of, of good information. So the reason that your Saitama, if you've been holding it, um, and you've just been like, holy crap, yeah, 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 keep going, is because of the deals that have been made. Um, he's made some pretty big deals here, uh, Russell. Um, Willie D. A lot of, of what's been happening in the market is just because of the deals that have been made. Willie D being brought into the team. It's a big one. He's got twice the followers that Saitama Guru has. This guy's, you know, um, got 30.8 and the other guy is 70. Like over 70,000 followers. I don't even know who this guy is. Apparently he's a rapper. Um, I, I don't know. I don't listen to his music apparently because I don't even know this guy. <laughs> Uh, but he's got 71,000 followers. And, you know, I, I would say that venture to guess he's responsible for a lot of this recent. Yeah, there you go. That's right. So Tom is up 48% since I tweeted that I'm a holder. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know, Willie, that it was just you, bro. <laughs> I'm sure you helped the price for sure. But um, for it to be at 48%. That's a lot for, for one individual, unless you were like Elon Musk. Uh, when Elon makes a tweet, he, he moves stuff. But, um, but for sure, you know. Um, but yeah, there, there's been a lot of big news coming out about what Saitama's doing, um, who they're partnering with, so on and so forth. But this stuff I can already see, like right here. Like, Willie, I, I love that you're on the project, but please, you know... Like, let's not try and be political on our stuff here and, and everything else. I'm already starting to see some really bad, bad stuff um, in your profile. I mean, you're, it's your profile. You're free to do whatever. But you are kind of associated with Saitama now. So please just keep that in mind that whenever you say something or do something, you also have this project that's now going to either look good or look bad based off of what you do right so 
you just don't want to rub people the wrong way. Um, I commented on one of the, the things that you posted because like I agreed with what you said to a point, but you, like the, w what you said after that kind of was just like really far gone. And I was just like, wait a minute, that's, that's where we should, you know, probably have just left that part out on the rest of the tweet. Because it was basically saying how there was like more deaths due to guns than COVID. And I, I was like, that's, that's not true at all. <laughs> Please, um, let's be real here. If we're going to, if we're going to put stuff out there, at least, you know, don't exaggerate the real numbers, please. Uh, you're, you're taking away <clears throat> and my, I guess the way it makes me think about it is you're literally kind of um, taking away from the value of the lives that were lost by COVID because there were a lot more people that died by COVID than were shot by a gun. Um, and so for those people that you didn't include in your, you know, your total, their lives weren't worth that. You know, like just... You know what I mean? Just please be be mindful of what you're going to put out there, okay? Um, but yeah, this is Vlad, and I'm the rickest Chad um, that ever lived, apparently, because I'm the only one that's willing to come at you like this and be real with you all. And I'm hoping that I'm going to change the game of crypto, and everybody is going to have to start doing this. If you want to have a project and you want people to invest, you're going to have to be real with people. You're going to have to show your face. Your name's going to have to be out there. All that, you know. Um, I want transparency, collaboration, and professionalism in crypto. It's my whole goal behind this all, right? For those of you that aren't, you know, still sold on the Tails token being a scam, all you got to do is go over here and look at it. It's the same as the Knuckles. Um... When I loaded this earlier, it told me that it's, yeah, this this account is temporarily restricted. You're seeing this warning because there has been some unusual activity from this account. Do you still want to view it? Sure, let's go. Look, it's the same. It's no different. So for those of you that are, that are like, oh, Tails Moon, Tails Moon, you know, jealous is bad, bro. I'm not jealous. I'm trying to help you all. Seriously. It's all I'm trying to do is to help you to keep your money from being taken by these people. They're, they're low lives. Let's go over here and look, guys. For, for those of you that don't like me, One Punch Vato. You hate my videos so much, brother, but you come over here and you watch every stinking one of them. This is why I make these videos, One Punch. I was curiously searching to see if Knuckles was legit, plus the Sonic logo was one of their coins that is trademark violation. That alone made me hesitant. Once I saw your review, that was all I needed for my curiosity and money. Thanks. Great info. That's why I do this. I help that person to not buy into a scam. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to keep making videos. You can keep on hating all you want. All right, brother. But hopefully you'll realize I got scammed just like you did. And here I am trying to make it right. What's so wrong with that? Yeah, I got a, a university degree. And yeah, I was in the military. So what? I'm pretty sure that, like I told you, and even showed you, the I gave you the direct link to the, the article from Forbes magazine where Mark Cuban got rugged. It happens to everybody. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm asking for Saitama Diva and Jake Gagain and everybody else, Nam, all these people to come with me and let's put an end to this crap once and for all. Like, do you not understand that? I've literally said that like every video I've ever made. So why are you still hating on me like I'm some sort of scammer like the rest of these assholes who actually took your money? I literally told you... Eventually, I'm going to pay you back, and I will do that. It might take me some time, because thus far, um, my petition has just stalled. I had really good uh, support for the first few days, and then it's done nothing. The last two days, I've gotten one signature. That's it. Just one. 
So, I mean, at this point, it's going to have to be, I launch my NFT collection, and then I slowly fund the token out of my own pocket, I guess. Um, or by some miracle, I mean, it's not even a miracle. I, my, my buddy, uh, you know, he, he like, as soon as he's done running all around the country doing all his other stuff, he's going to run over here. And we're going to sit down and do this little documentary, you know. But until he's finished running all those other projects, I cannot take him away from, like, his paying job and say, here, come over and do this for free for me. Because it's essentially what he's doing. So I, I, I would really love to have a, p a petition of 10,000 people saying, hey, I would love to have this documentary. Because he has inside connections to where when we get the documentary teaser or trailer or whatever you want to call it filmed he can send it over to them and if you look it up on like google or whatever it's actually should be google you know you can find it on google netflix will not take any sort of what they call unsolicited you know unsolicited type of stuff unless it's from like an established person already which is who i'm working with so I already have an inside person to help me shoot the documentary, essentially, and then sell it to Netflix. But it would be a lot easier, for sure, if I had 10,000 signatures on a petition. I mean, that's just obvious, right? It doesn't take a rocket scientist or a nuclear reactor operator to figure that one out. Like, yeah, you see this, like, this flag here, and, like, I don't wear these shirts just because I think I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I wear it because I'm, I'm a vet and yeah, you know, I don't just talk like I've lived a life of action and I'm sick of people talking and not doing anything. It, it just pisses me off. And if I have to, I'm here to be your leader. I will, I will gladly take the role of everybody hates me because I'm this go, you know, forward, take charge kind of guy, but at least I, if, if I can give us all direction, I don't care. If that's what has to be, I'll gladly take one for the team. I, I just don't want crypto to get shut down because I see a future where I can have passive income. But these assholes are screwing it up. And it, it's going to get taken away. And so I'm asking all of you to help me come together as a community. Not just Rick and Morty, not Tails, not any one project, all of crypto. Let's come together and put an end to the assholes who are ruining it for us. Can we please? Like, I just, man, all I want is to help people. That's, that's the only reason I even got into this was to help people. And, and here it is. It's like right as I'm getting into something good it's about to be taken away that's what I feel it, it, it scares me it really does that they are going to take crypto away from us here in the United States because I've just shown you this week alone four projects if you include the Rick and Morty V2 that was a scam that's five we're talking I don't know if you if you if you just will say low ballpark it and say that they they, they got five hundred thousand dollars in the developer wallet like they did with Rick and Morty. <clears throat> Multiply that by six projects now. What is that? What's six times five? Thirty, right? So three million dollars that they've taken in the last month. Now do you understand? That's low. That's a low figure. That's just me spitballing off the top of my head without even looking at any real numbers. It's probably twice that. Maybe three times that. Maybe four times that. They literally could have walked away with $20 million in the last month. Easily. We're talking... On average, 2,000 holders each project. That's over 12,000 people. We're 12,000 families, guys. When are we going to put an end to it? You know? I'm about to pause my video for a second. I'm about to cough. 
Okay, sorry about that. I had to uh, pause the video and put in a cough drop like allergy season is really bad where I live and so it's like killing me here. But yeah guys, I mean I, I, I've i shown you here in just the last week or so where there there's literally three or four projects every week that are coming out as scams and so if that's just what I'm able to catch, how many are really out there and how much is actually being lost? It's to the point where, like I said, governments are going to start stepping in and protecting investors if something is not done. And we, the community, we have the opportunity now to do it ourselves. But if we don't put a plan in action now and and send it over to the SEC here in the United States and be like, hey, we realize there is a major problem right now in cryptocurrencies and we have decided to basically come together as a community and, and go forward with a way to protect investors. And if we can show that initiative, I think that we have a fighting chance of, of kind of just avoiding all of this. You know, that, that's my opinion. Maybe some of you will agree, maybe you'll disagree, but let's, let's at least talk about it. Because sitting back and waiting for it to happen is not going to get us anywhere right I, I think we can all agree on that so that's the main point of uh, most of my videos is to show everybody this is a dangerous space we need to do something we have the ability to do something and if we don't somebody will whether it's in the United States or in the United Kingdom or in China wherever you live if you're watching this video now I think you probably have a government that is capable and willing to step in and stop all of this if they need to right it's much bigger than people realize and that's the problem and that's why I need your help sign the petition you know at the bottom of every one of my videos you can click on more and it will give you right here at the top the change petition and you can come over here and sign that okay please share it comment down below um, let me know you know anything that you want leave leave a comment down there and uh, I'll, I'll definitely take a look at that um, other than that I, uh, I didn't have a tip of the day for you the other day so I wanted to uh, to do something today let's make this a little bit bigger so I could actually see myself <clears throat> tying a tie um, so if you want to stop watching the video, this is just going to be for people that don't know how to tie a tie. I will show you how to tie a, uh, what's called a double Windsor knot. Let me turn my lights up here so we can actually see what's going on because it's already difficult as it is. Um, I move my microphone back so I don't whack it and everything. So. You're gonna start off for me. I'm right-handed. I always have the uh, the long part of the tie essentially on my right hand side. And this is where it's gonna get tricky. Let's just see if I can. And I won't be able to tuck it inside my shirt. Let's see if I can pull it off the side. <laughs> I told you it's difficult with a beard. Um, we're gonna do it. Like one of the tricks is you need to have enough space um, so that you have length in your tie if you do this wrong your tie is going to be like super short and you're going to look like a weirdo you know like your tie will stop up here if you're not careful so you want to make sure that you have plenty of length if you got a big neck like i do especially you're going to have difficulty tying these uh these ties uh you're, you're going to have to like basically try and give yourself as much space as possible i know it'll be kind of hard but <clears throat> for the sake of this let me pull this over to the side and uh yeah we'll just do it so you start here oh, i can't see this is backwards too it's like doing it in a mirror almost but not um i'm just going to do it by memory so you'll cross it you'll pull it through man my beard is totally blocking it in that okay all right now bring it over like that through okay and then we go over the front 
like that to where it's just over the front and now you're going to come back up through the middle and it's going to come down through that loop this time oh this is so difficult with the beard it's like pulling all my hairs in my beard here we go okay and then now man if i can show you all essentially uh, there you go that's your what they call a double windsor knot and then you can just tighten it up and it's it looks nice now the nice thing about this too is you can just take it and you gotta if you have enough room you gotta be careful but you can just slide it up on over and then boom bada boom but that's a, a double wins or not so like I said if you like uh, my channel and stuff you want to learn some stuff let me know what you want to learn we'll We'll teach you how to do all sorts of stuff. Um, that's how to tie a double Windsor knot. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else I have going for you guys today. This was just kind of a weird video. I, I haven't done a price prediction video on Saitama in a while. It's kind of a little mash up of uh, price predictions slash look at all the scams slash, hey, I just showed you how to tie a tie video. So... It's a weird one, but hey, like I said, this is a journalism channel. I'm here to educate you all and hopefully make you feel a little bit weird along the way. <laughs> all right. Um, as usual, guys, love you all. Hope that uh, you will like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, as usual, uh, if I haven't already said it, I'm not your financial advisor. This is speculation, opinion, conjecture, and I need to go to bed. Bye-bye. <laughs>